Good morning everybody, it's Ian at RTO here. Hope you're all well. Welcome to Friday, it's nearly the weekend. And today it's live album day. And today we're looking at ELP. One of the only bands that have released more live albums than studio albums. They have released 20 official studio albums. Well, 25 if you count what of the the um, bootleg series but I have put that all in one because we'll be here forever so as we've got 20 we are going to crack on straight away um, don't have to tell you who's in ELP uh, it's just Greg Lake Keith Emerson Carl Palmer and we had a guest appearance by a cozy pal um, so that's that. So let's get cracking. So coming in at number 20, it's, I've, I've sort of I'll altered this a little bit because it was called the original bootleg series from the Manticore Vaults. It's a four volume uh, bootleg. It was released over between 2002 and 2000 and something. Um, I haven't got it because it's basically for each four volumes comprised of four shows containing seven or eight CDs. Um, it's all repeated, so in the end, I've got the best of the bootlegs that come out in 2002. Um, on this, there's Hoedown, Knife Edge, Pictures of an Exhibition, Take a Pebble, Looking Man, Tarkus. Endless Enigma, Nutrocker, Jerusalem, Pirates, Carnival, First Impression, Still Turn Me On, The Barbarian, Cell of Even, Fanfare from Common Man. Basically, these were taken off the first two um, Mandy Core bootlegs. It's a good set, but because it's recorded at so many places, that the sound's bad, and on the whole, the sound on this one is pretty poor. Um, it's quite distorted in places. I've only got it because I like to collect. Um, some of it seems like it's recorded, but you remember in the day you could get these little tape recorders about that big with a microphone like that. So it's like some of them standing there doing that. So it is pretty poor. So I'm going to give this one uh, an RTO ranking of 5 out of 10. Because it is. It's one album I don't listen to anymore. I sort of put it on just to see how bad it was, and he goes, oh yes, it's still bad. Okay, then coming in at number 19 is, is ALP Live California Jam 1974. Um, this is the apparently the biggest show that ELP ever played to. Uh, the tracks on this one is Takata Alberto, Still Turn Me On, Lucky Man, The Piano Improvisations, uh, Take a Pedal, Pedal, Pebble, Carnival, First Impression, The Third Impression, and Pictures of an, of an Exhibition. The sound quality on this is awful. I don't know if they did it on purpose to make Deep Purple sound better, but it. it it doesn't sound very good and considering the set for purple and I've heard the Black Sabbath one were fine. I don't know. But it's a bit, it's, it's, it's quite a, a bit of nostalgia. Um, I don't play this one now but there's a reason why and you'll find out very shortly. So I'll give this an RTO ranking of 5.5. 5. Okay coming in at number 18 is a box set called A Time and a Place. Uh, it was released in 2010 and the box set takes its name from the Banong song A Time and a Place. It's a three disc I believe. Was it four? Oh, I can't remember. Uh, yes, yeah, so, uh, three discs 
thing. You got the first disc is the early 70s. And it's got the Barbarian from the Isle of Wight, Take a Pebble from Germany, Ballad of Blue taken in London, High Level Fugue, that's London, Ho Down, Still Turn Me On, Lucky Man, Carnival First, basically the first, all three impressions. And then the second disc is the late 70s. We've got Peter Gunn, Pictures and Exhibition, Tiger in a Spotlight, the lovely little maple leaf rag, uh, Tank, which you don't get many live versions of that, a drum solo, The Enemy Dances with the Black Spirits. I'm not going to mention too much because they these are it's all from different shows. Um, Watching Over You, Pirates, Tarkus, Show Me the Way That Go Home. Then we get the disc three, which is 90s. You get Knife Edge, Paper Blood, Black Moon, Moon, Creole Dance, From the Beginning, Honky Tonk, Touch and Go, Time and a Place, Bitches Crystal, Fanfare. Yeah, do get four because you get like a, a, a viewer's, a fan's view. It's pretty naff because it's fans doing their own recordings. Uh, this box isn't too bad. I don't own it. I've had a listen to it. And I'm glad I don't own it because I've got it all anyway. Um, but as a package, it's it's not a bad package if you've not got any live ELP. And I'll give it an RTO ranking of 5.7. Okay, coming in at number 17, it's an album called Then and Now. Hey, they've nicked my idea, my title of my one of my shows. How dare they? Um, yeah, released in 1999, 1980, 1998, sorry. Basically, it brings two separate periods of the band's career. Uh, you get the California Jam again. They've repackaged this and they've, they've altered the recording of it so it sounds a little bit better. And you get the reunion concerts between 97 and 98, which are pretty cool. So here we get, yeah, on disc one, you get the California Jam again, the car to take a pebble, pebble. You still turn me on. Lucky man, the prayer piano in problem revisions. Phew. Little Rock Getaway, Carnival. It's quite, uh, Time and a Place is on the now bit. Uh, piano Concerto from the beginning. Then you get Carnival Part 2, Tiger in the Spotlight, Ho Down, Touch and Go, one of the Emerson Lake and Powell tracks, Knife Edge, Lucky Man, Bitches Crystal, Honky Tonk Blues, Take a Pebble, Lucky Man, Fanfare, and a very good version of the 21st century Schizoid Man in America. The upside of this box set, this box set CD you get a better version of the Californian Jam um, but apart from that it's the usual suspects and again this one I don't own because it's just pointless because I've got basically all these tracks on other albums uh, but I'll still give it an RTO ranking of 5.8 because they cleaned up the Californian Jam hello who's fallen down oh the U2 has fallen down oh well never mind I'll pull it up later. Okay, coming in at number 16 then. Uh, live at Ponaco International Raceway. Recorded in 1972. Released in 2019. This is not a bad album actually. Uh, one of the better recordings of the earlier stuff. You get Tarkus, the whole of. Pretty good. Uh, side 2 you get Take a Pebble, Lucky Man and the Piano. Improvs, then it goes back into Take a Pebble. Pep, why am I saying pedal today? Pebble. Uh, side three, you get pictures of an exhibition, Ho Down and Blue Ronda a la Turk. Um, it's not a bad little album. I do like actually listening to this one. I got it uh, very cheap at a record fair. And uh, I thought I'd have it. So I'll give you an RTO ranking of 6 out of 10. Okay, coming in at number 15. It's actually their very, very first concert. Recorded on the Isle of Wight, 1970. 
and was released in 1997. Uh, I do own this one because it's their first ever concert. They're very raw and uh, tell the ner no nervousness in them, it's just very raw. I mean, it opens up with a barbarian, great track, take a pebble, uh, pictures of an exhibition, uh, nut rocker. Yeah, it's a pretty good album. Quality is not too bad. Um, and it flows nicely. One of the only albums that actually flows properly. And I give it an RTO ranking of 7.5. Okay, coming in at number 14. Uh, this is one of a series of concerts that most bands are in. It's called the King Biscuit Flower Hour. I've got one or two different artists that have done this. Basically, this is a greatest hits um, live compilation. Features tracks from tours from the back Brain Salad Surgery Tour and the works. Some of it was recorded at the Coliseum in 1977. Some of it in Montreal and some of it in uh, Oklahoma. On this one we get Peter Gunn theme, Tiger in a Spotlight, Cella V, the Pranio Piano Improv and you get uh, Maple Leaf ragging that the, the enemy god dances with the black spirits watching over you pirates fanfare for a common man Ho down still turn me on lucky man and you get the whole of carnival that's worth having just for that uh, and it's not a bad recording of it either uh, if you just want to hear some great uh, old ELP this is what you listen to um, it's not bad, I, I don't mind this one. And I give you an RTO ranking of 8 out of 10. Okay, coming in at number 13, another album I actually release. Well, I've got uh, Live at Nassau Coliseum in 78, released in 2011. It's the concert that was recorded at the Nassau Veteran Memorial Coliseum, New York. February the 9th 1978 this has been remastered because before that there was pirate versions and I did have a pirate version of this naughty boy but there you go and I just brought this because it's been nice to hear it cleaned up and they cleaned it up really well uh, it's got some good solid stuff on here as usual we got hoedown love that Tarkus is brilliant eruption Stones of Years is on here, Ironcast, Mask, Aquatarius, Take a Pebble, um, get the Piano Concerto, bit of Maple Leaf Rag again, Cella V, Lucky Man, Pictures of an Exhibition, Tigers in a Spotlight, Watching You Tank, a Drum Solo, The Enemy Dances with the Black Spirits, Nut Rocker, Pirates, and Fanfare for a Common Man. Absolutely great little uh, concert it flows lovely and now it's been cleaned up it sounds a lot better it's not brilliant but it's uh, a very good album so I'll give it an RTO ranking of 8.8 .8. okay coming in at number 12 then uh, so this is one of the albums I don't have but I've managed to track it down and have a listen to it it's uh, live at Montreux recorded in 1997 and released in 2015 opens up with welcome back my friends to the show that never ends part two of carnival we get a bit of tiger in the spotlight nice track hoedown then we get touch and go from the Pat cozy pal time from a beginning i love that track knife edge i love as well always love that great version of bitch is crystal on here um, then we get Creole Dance, Honky Tonk Train Blues, Take a Pebble, great little song, The Wonderful Lucky Man, then you get Tarkus and a bit of pictures of ex at an exhibition, then you get probably, this is the best version of Fanfare for the Common Man, 
I'm very tempted just to buy this for this. It starts off with the fanfare for the common man, then goes into Carmenia Burana, drum solo, Ronda, Takata and Fugue in D minor. This is a great version of uh, fanfare. Absolutely stonking. Highlight of the album. I think I will buy it just for that because now talking about it I love that version I've actually played it about three or four times just the fanfare for Uncommon Man absolutely stonking version um, on the whole it is a very good album uh, good sound flows quite well as well so I'll give it an RTO ranking of 8.9 ok number 11 uh, one on your own live in uh, Poland Recorded in Katwice, 1997. Uh, released in 2003. It's just got the usual suspects on. Basically stuff from the previous album. Got Carnival, Touch and Go from the beginning. Knife Edge, Bitches, Crystal, Take a Petal, Pebble. Stop saying pedal. Uh, Lucky Man. Uh, then we get the medley. And then a shorter version of the fanfare for the common man you just get that in Ronda uh, yeah, it's okay I don't mind it at all it's a shorter version of the other one uh, but I think I will be getting the other one because it's a better it's got more tracks and uh, it's not been edited about but I, but I still give it an RTO ranking of 9 out of 10 okay coming at number 10 this is the last thing I brought live uh, wise and it's Emerson Lake and Powell live in concert uh, recorded in Lakeland Florida in 1986 and it was released in 2012 um, only got this for two reasons A it's with Cozy Powell and it's got a great version of it song off that album that I love opens up with the score great live much better live than um, on the studio version um, touch and go sounds brilliant on here knife edge and pirates cozy pal gives a good account of himself playing the classics um, from a beginning lucky man stonking version of com fanfare for the common man and then we get a brilliant version of Mars the Bringer of War. This is so much better than actually on the album they put out. I mean, I love that track anyway. And then you get one of Cozy's fantastic drum solos. It's superb. Um, then we get a little medley of Carnival Part 2, America, which sounds absolutely stonking on this, and Ronda. This was a great album. An album that I've been trying to find recordings of it. I knew they existed, and now they released it officially. It was brilliant because, you know, I love the Emerson Lake and Powell album, and it was just great to hear some of the my favourite songs actually live. And it's a really good album, and I'll give it an RTO rat ranking of nine point one. Okay, coming in at number nine. Is live at the Maya Waisol Festival 72, uh, recorded on the 2nd of April 1972 in Puerto Rico, released in 2011. On here we have got Hoedown, Tarkus in its entirety, um, Eruption, Stone, Stones of Years, Iron Class, Mass, Manticore, Battlefield. The whole lot of um, Tarkus. Brilliant. Oh, an aqua Tarkus. Forgot that. Most important. So you get the whole caboodle. Absolutely brilliant version. Uh, take a pebble. As good as ever, lucky man. And you get the impro. And then pictures of an, ac of an exhibition. Now, this is one of the best early recordings I've got of ELP um, I don't know what makes this a, the best one I don't know but I don't know if it's because it didn't come out till 
2012, I mean 2011. I wonder if they've cleaned it up and gone through it, but it's the best sounding early ELP album I own. And for that, I'll give it an RTO ranking of 9.2. Okay, coming in at number eight. Um, recorded on the 25th of July 2010. Which was the last time that ELP ever played together. It's high voltage. Uh, very, very good album. It's just nice that you've got the first and it last ever concert on album. And it was a great concert. Um, opened up with Carnival, first impression part two. Then the Barbarian, uh, Bitches Crystal, Knife Edge, From the Beginning, Touch and Go, Take a Pebble, the whole of Tarkus. It's a very, very good uh, version of it as well. Uh, Farewell to Arms. Lucky Man, Pictures of an Exhibition Medley, Fanfare for the Common Man, the Drum Solo and Ronda. Um, it's not a bad album. It, it, uh, it, it, you can tell there it's coming to the end. I think by this time they'd really they were still think friendly, but they you know they I think they wanted to put this to bed. Um, but it's still great, great to hear. Watch it on DVD as well, and it's quite nostalgic. Um, and I'll give it an RTO ranking of 9.3. Okay, coming in at number seven, uh, one that I don't own. It's called Once Upon a Time um, Live in South America. Recorded during the 1997 tour and released in 2015. Basically, it's three CDs of um, concerts. One in Chile, some in Buenos Aires in Argentina, and some in Rio. Basically, it's the hot, it's the same tracks. It's the usual suspects on there. We've got Tarkus, Knife Edge, Paper Blood, Black Moon, Close to Home, The Creole Dance, Still Turn Me On, Cella V, Lucky Man, Honky Tonk Train Blues, Touch and Go, Pirates. Very much the same on the second CD. But you get Black Moon on there. Third CD is no different. Fanfare for the Common Man on, opens at the fourth CD. Pictures of an exhibition and a very, very good version of a little bit of uh, 21st century schizoid man with a, and then a bit of America. Okay, this may be a box set that repeats itself. But it's a very good recording. All these recordings are very, very good. Um, I haven't got it. I've listened to it though, and as a as a box set put together, it's very, very good. So I'll give it an RTO ranking of nine point four. Okay, coming in at number six. Uh, this is a nice little album. Live at the Albert Hall. Recorded on the Black Moon tour in 1992, uh, came out in '93, I believe. Uh, this was the first. What's significant about this? This is the first show that the band had, had played in England since 1974. It was introduced by Fluff Freeman. Uh, it's a very good album. You get the intro from uh, Fluff, and then you get Carnival because he goes, "Welcome back to my friends. Come inside, come inside. Welcome, Emerson, Lake, and Palmer." And then we get first impression, second impression, first impression part two. Then we get a very short version of Tarkus, uh, Knife Edge. Actually, the best version of Knife Edge I've got. Paper Blood. Then we get the Romeo and Juliet theme by Prague Kef. For those of the, 
those are those are the donor it's the theme tune to the apprentice in the uk uh, very good version better than the studio still turn me on lucky man black moon a stonking version of uh, pirates then we get a great medley of fanfare for the common man america and ronda excellent album flows lovely good recordings quality stuff so i'll give this an rto ranking of 9.4 Hello, we're about to do a little editing because there was a bit of a corruption on the original. So I am continuing in with the live album stuff. And we are now at number five, I do believe. And it's uh, live in Montreal, uh, 1977. This was actually in a, a US import that I managed to get hold of. Uh, it's supposed to have been taken from the same concert as a previous one, but it's got different tracks on it. Um, so on this one, we've got Abandons Bolero, Carnival The First Impression, Part 2, The Enemy God Dances With The, the Black, uh, Cell Aviv, Lucky, Pictures of an Exhibition, The Piano Concerto Number no. 1 and the Third Movement, Closer to Believing, Knife Edge, Tank, Nut Rocker, Pirates and the Fanfare for the Common Man. It's very similar to the um, In Concert we'll be looking at in a minute, but uh, this is a, it's not a bad album, it's just a bit different having an American import. So I'll give this an RTO ranking of 9.5. Okay. Four is the European version, and it was called In Concert, recorded at, in Montreal in 1977. But for some reason, this is a different, uh, we've got different, a few different tracks on it. We've got the introductory fanfare, Peter Gunn, uh, Tiger in the Spotlight, Cell Aviv, The Enemy of God Dances and the Black Spirits, Knife Edge, uh, Planet Concerto Number no. 1 and Pictures at Exhibition. Ah, it was a little bit uh, of the other one. So you basically, with the two albums, you got the full concert. Uh, Solid live album, and I'll give this an RTO ranking of 9.6. Okay, then coming in at number three, we have Works Live. This is a repackaged version of In Concert and Live in Montreal 1977, but with some stuff that's recorded in 1978. Um, on this one we have got the introductory fanfare of course, Peter Gunn, Tiger in the Spotlight, Cell Aviv, Watching Over You, Maple Leaf Rag, Enemy of the God Dances with Black Spirits again, Fanfare for the Common Man, Knife Edge, Show Me the Way to Go Home which is quite good, um, and then we get Aladdin's Bolero, Pictures of an Exhibition, Close to Believing, Piano Concerto Number no. 1 and Tank. Okay, it was a little bit higgledy piggledy again. I've had looked at the running order of the concert and it's all over the place, but uh, who cares? It's a ELP. So I'll give this an RTO ranking of 9.7. Okay, coming in at number two is an album recorded live, and it came out as a live album first one they ever put out recorded in Newcastle City Hall on the 26th of March 1971 and pictures at an exhibition released in November of 71 here we get the full Monty of the brilliant pictures of an exhibition so you've got tracks on here you've got promenade the gnome promenade again sage the old castle a blues variation promenade the hut of Baba Yaga, the curse of Baba Yaga, and it goes back into the hut, and then we get the brilliant gates of Kiev, which is absolutely outstanding. And to round out the art 
album we have got Nut Rocker, the Bee Bumble and the Stingers number. This is the definitive version of this piece of music by them. It's on others, but this is the full length. No, nothing missing, and it is brilliant. And I give it an RTO ranking of 9.9. .9. So, my number one. To me, this is the uh, epitome of uh, Emerson, Lake and Palmer Live. This is when they were at their best. And it is welcome back, my friends, to the show that never lends, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, released in 1974, August, and it was recorded at the Anaheim Conventional Centre 1974 in February. On here we have a brilliant version of Hoedown. Then we go to have we have Jerusalem, Decatur. We get a full Monty of Tarkus, and at the end of that, they get a little bit of uh, King Crimson's epitaph, which is pretty cool. And then on, you get to go back into uh, Tarkus' conclusion, Aquatarkus. Then we get Take a Pebble, and we get Keith Emerson's piano improv. And then for some reason we get a, get the conclusion of Take a Pebble. Uh, then we get Jeremy Bender and the Sheriff. And we get Carnival First Impression, including percussion solo by Cole Palmer. Side six then is Carnival Second Impression. And then the last track is Carnival Third Impression. This is a fantastic live album. Um, one of my favourite live albums ever. It just it's at their when they're at their height of popularity, and I give it an RTO ranking of ten out of ten. Okay, well that's that one done. Sorry about the the little hiccup, but when I was editing the original, it got to this bit and it just went all silly. So I've had to re-record it all. Never mind, the light, light's failing. Uh, so normally I'd say it would be the second show, but we've done that. Um, so I'm gonna re-edit this one again, get it up on the channel, and I will see you all on Monday. Have a fab weekend, take care for now.